Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. You know what we're going to talk about today. That is the SBCs that EA Sports, re EA Sports released to us today on FIFA Ultimate Team. We've been looking forward to this SBC for the past couple of days because we saw it in the code. I made a video about it last week. They put it in the code last week on Thursday night. Thursday night they put this in the code. We didn't see it on Friday. We saw the FFS pack in weekly objectives. And now this TOTS upgrade pack is out. Now, it is a GG, like EA, GG for putting this pack out. I just think the price for it might be a little bit too high. And I understand why they made this an 86 rated squad because it is a top five league guaranteed player from this TOTS player pack. I mean, you get, you're getting guys from Ultimate TOTS, you're getting guys from the top five leagues, which is what Ultimate Tots is, and all the other biggest teams of Team of the Season, the biggest leagues of Team of the Season, all of those players are available to get from this SBC. That's why EA has to make it, make it 86 rated. You know, it is the end of the game. People are going to argue, yo, EA, like make this an 84 rated. But what I'm going to show you guys right now is, regardless of what this SBC price is, and I said this earlier in the week, um, when this pack code was was in the code when it came out I said people are going to pay whatever it takes to get this SBC done and that is exactly What people are doing so right now this SBC is sitting about 160 150 thousand coins uh, It would be a lot easier to craft and to do if you would be able to um, If the 81 plus and the 82 plus were still out if those upgrades were still in the game It would be a lot easier to craft this SBC and to keep going on re repeatables. Uh, since it is a repeatable SBC, you could keep doing those upgrades, put those cards that you get into this SBC. And if you do, if you do 20 upgrade packs, uh, if 20 of those upgrade packs costs you, I don't know how much that's going to quite cost you, but if that costs you uh, 170, 180K, let's say 200K for easy math, 20 upgrade packs cost you 200,000 coins and you're able to get one of these TOTS player picks. You're probably going to get somebody in those 20 packs that is worth the 40k that makes up the difference between the 200k you spent on the upgrade SBCs and the 160 that it would cost to craft this from scratch. So I think this SBC, it's all right. You know, it is all right. And I want to show you guys something here. People are doing this SBC. I mean, I told you guys this last week when we saw this in the code. This is the type of SBC that everybody is going to go out and do. Look at these high rated gold prices right now. 84 rated golds are 8.8 thousand coins. 83s, for goodness sake, are 5k. 86s are 18, 19, 20,000 coins. 85s are 15 to 16,000 coins. If you invested in rare golds, um, even when they were high, at like 10k for 85s, which is, you know, kind of high, um, you're making an absolute bank on a lot of these cards because this SBC right here has increased the price of so many cards that it's ridiculous. Now, I'm not going to do one in this video for you guys right now. I'm not going to do one uh, because I'm saving my high rated golds for Paul Pogba, who I'm going to be crafting, fully finished crafting him tomorrow night on stream. Um, Twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant, of course. Uh, but I have a lot of 84s. I could do one of these SBCs very easily. I just don't want to right now at the moment because I want to get Pogba done first because that is a guaranteed player. And that, that's what I want to tell you guys too. If you are really deciding between, well, should I do this SBC or should I do Pogba? Do Pogba first. Do Richarlison first because those are two team of the season-esque. They're basically team of the season players. You know what you're going to get from those SBCs. You get some packs back in return for the completing the individual SBCs. And you're getting a card that you know you're going to get. With this, if you put coins into this, you do five of these instead of doing Pogba. You do six or seven of these instead of doing Pogba. You might end up with two Doherty's, five keepers, you know? At the end of Pogba, you know that you're getting Pogba. So that's what I'd recommend to you guys. If you can't decide between a Pogba or between doing like five of these TOTS upgrades, do the Pogba first. See if you can have a little bit of extra time in there after rewards. This this SBC is out for a week, so it's not going to go away until next Monday at 6 p.m. UK. Go do a Pogba or whatever and get that done. But this SBC is going to be impacting the market a lot uh, through the rest of this week, and I do want to get into that here a little bit. Now, looking at some team of the season prices, 
a lot of the team of the season started to fall out of the weekend. So like people knew this SBC was in the code. I think people figured that it was coming and people think that these cards are going to be released back into packs on Wednesday. I believe that as well. Um, I think they're going to put the main league tots back into packs on, uh, excuse me, Wednesday with batch number three. Talked about that in my video yesterday. I think that's going to happen. So I think that's why you saw some of these cards take a dip out of the weekend. Um, one card in particular that I, I just mentioned that I saw right now, this messy card, 2.1 million coins, 2.11 right now on Xbox. He was 2.4. This weekend, you can see it's been a nice decline out of uh, in, into this these last couple days, especially with uh, the batch three hype and now this SBC as well. This, I mean, this SBC hasn't really impacted a ton of tots player prices that I've seen. I haven't looked around the market everywhere, so forgive me if I missed one or two players that maybe have been affected by this a lot. But it is going to continue to affect prices throughout the next week. This SBC being out for six days is basically more and more chances. Wow, look at this drop over the weekend. 1.14 mil for Nine Golan, down to 900K, 990, which he is, he's still there right now. So the combination of this SBC being out, the hype of batch three possibly including these players, and people spending their coins on this game on Pogba, Richarlison, and this TOTS upgrade SBC, you're gonna keep seeing prices probably trickle down a little bit. Um, you're, I think you're going to see prices trickle down a little bit. Like, look at Ronaldinho right now. 5-5 five, five, five not selling. This card was sold right away last week at 5-5. Five, five. It is not selling right now on Xbox. 4-5-5. Five, five. Um, some of these other cards, like Tot's Son was 2.1 over the weekend. He's now 1.9. He hasn't dropped a ton. Um, but I think, especially in some of the Icon areas, people might go sell their Icon Vieira, you know, or their Icon... Um, Ronaldinho to try and go pick up some of these cards and to do some of the SBCs like that's where some of these higher rated cards will go down in price because people will say it's the end of the game screw it I'm gonna see if I can pack anybody sick from this sell one or two of my cards go do the SBC and then maybe buy a lower version back later later this week or something like like, like that you know I just searched the same Vieira I meant to search the 88 it is what it is but yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about with this SBC today is this SBC, it's fun, right? I'm going to be, whoa, now that is quite the undercut on Mr. Vieira. I'm going to watch that one. This SBC is really cool, right? It's fun. Thank you, EA, for putting this SBC out. I wish it would have been a little bit cheaper, um, but it is what it is. Also, this is getting very overshadowed because of this team this season SBC today. We got flashback, flashback Ibrahimovic. Back in the game, costs about 100,000 coins to complete. One squad, one Swedish player, one MLS player, two team of the seasons, 84 rated. Now, that is obviously inflated right now because of the fact that um, all the high rated golds are inflated because of this SBC. But if they do refresh the 81 plus or the 82 plus SBC, you'll be able to get yourself another Ebra. And um, what you can do with that is, you, you might say, whoa, Nate, I still have flashback Ibrahimovic in my club. Do this SBC, swap them around, put the fresh one in your club, submit this flashback Ibrahimovic for Pogba, or put him into an icon upgrade SBC. He's 92 rated, or put him, not icon upgrade, put him into an icon, up, an icon SBC, a team of the season upgrade, or Pogba. Use that 92 rating and keep the one that you had in your club with all the goals, stats, you know, and everything you've been using this card for a while. Put that one back into the club after you submit the new fresh one from this SBC here. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing. If they release upgrade SBCs again, I will be crafting this, crafting away at Zlatan um, later in the week, this week. I'm excited to see if they do re-release -re those upgrades. They re-release the team of the week upgrade, which is big time. And this wasn't talked about a lot today as well. I have a, I've been saving my 81s. Um, if you look at my club right now, I have a lot of 81 rated cards that I've just packed from the upgrades and I've been saving them because I knew that this SBC was going to be re-released. I'm going to throw my 81s in here, get some Team of the Week players, 81 plus. That's going to help me out for Pogba. It's going to help me out for finishing Maldini. I would recommend you guys doing the same as well. If you're doing upgrade packs, save your 81 pluses. Um, when those upgrade packs, do 
do come back out. But again, that's the main talk of the town. This is just basically me sitting down and talking to you guys about the market today. A little market talk footies type video. I know a lot of you guys wanted to say or wanted to ask like, yo, when is the buy time for some of these TOTS cards? Not yet. This SBC is out. It hasn't caused a ton of panic on the market. There's little, there's bits and pieces of panic here and there. Cancelo at 587. He, he's, it's down a little bit. He was 565 though. Um, but again, these players that could come back into packs on Wednesday, that's when I feel like you'll see more hype. Um, but regardless right now, if you're feeling like doing a foot draft, uh, let me tell you this, boys. If you're feeling like doing a foot draft, go freaking do a foot draft. Because if you pack an 82 rated player, which is basically a guaranteed from any, if you win a foot draft and get a 50k pack, you're guaranteed an 82 or an 83 rated player almost. At least an 82. That's 2,000 coins. If, I mean, just opening, doing marquee matchups right now? Man. Doing some of these packs in the store, like just the pack SBCs, probably is worth it right now. Let's go look at the live section. What do we have in here? How could we get some packs inside of FIFA Ultimate Team? Marquee Matchups gives you a 50k pack. How much does Marquee Matchups cost? Marquee Matchups costs you a whopping 40,000 coins on the Xbox, 34 on the PS. So somewhere between 35 and 40k, you can complete Marquee Matchups and get yourself a rare players pack, which is a 50k pack, and then a small prime gold. Those are decent packs for marquee matchups. Go do marquee matchups before, um, and then before too long. If you want to hold these packs, you can save them for Wednesday to see what does come out. But uh, again, if you just want to take advantage of high rated golds being so high, um, it's a great time to just honestly to open packs. Um, if EA were running, well, they're not running lightning rounds, but if there's promo packs in the store. Dude, maybe even rip a promo pack with coins. 45k pack. Here we go, boys. We're doing a 45k pack with coins to test this method out. Impromptu 45k. It's a walkout. Oh my gosh, it's a blue, boys. What are we saying? Let's go. All right, boys. Uh, do this method 1,000%. 87 rated cauldron. That's what we like to see, boys. How much is this card going for? He's going for around 30,000 coins. I just made 30,000 coins back from that 45k pack right there. What else do we have inside of this pack? 82 rated. Okay, so we made 30,000 coins right there. And then that's another 2k. So we really didn't make our money back on that pack. But that's a lot more money than I thought it was going to make. Look at this. 30k? Oh yeah. 30k for this card. 27.5. I'm going to list them for 30. Boom. 30,000 coins. Rafinha, what are you selling for, my man? This is the time of the game where you check all of your high rated golds for their prices because this Rafinha card, yeah, he's selling like 2,000 coins. 2,000 coins, all right? Boom. Just made some money right there. Got some of these cards um, for SBCs as well. I'm not going to do that again, but that was actually uh, almost worth it. <laughs> so if you want to do that, um, just, just get some packs right now, boys. I would not recommend doing that. Don't do that. Disregard everything that I just did right there. That was just for fun. But go ahead, go out, do marquee matchups, and hopefully we can grind later in the week to this TOTS upgrade SBC. Hopefully they re-release the 81+, plus, the 82+. plus. Hopefully they re-release that SBC. Give us the opportunity to um, grind this SBC a little bit and possibly get a TOTS upgrade player from it. I will be doing some of these for sure. Um, I'm not sure that I'll stack them. If I do any, I'll do like three or four at a time. It'll probably be on stream. Um, maybe a, a few of them for a video. And there we get our 30. We get our uh, 2K back for Rafinha. All right. We get our 2K back for Rafinha. But the TOTS upgrade SBC is cool, right? It is a little bit expensive. Some people are going to be mad about it. But I'm saying it's July 29th, July 30th. Um, it's the end of FIFA. I have 4 million coins right now. You're going to see if there are upgrade packs for batch number three of FIFA Ultimate Team and if the team of the season cards that could come into packs, if these cards actually do come into packs, like a TOTS, if they re-release all the TOTS cards back into packs, you will see my coin total get very close to zero. I will be buying the players needed for TOTS upgrades. I will be doing upgrades upon upgrades, 81 pluses, TOTS, everything like that. I'm just holding off right now until I make sure 
that those cards are actually going to be in packs. And if they're not, I'm probably going to go have I'm going to go balls to the wall on the uh, Tots upgrades anyway, boys. Just for the fun at the end of the game is what it is. So this has been an all over the place market talk. I got to open a pack with coins. You probably didn't see that coming. Um, but yeah, boys. In summary, Tots upgrade SBC, it's here. Thank you EA for putting that out. I wish it was a little cheaper. But whatever, I understand why you priced it the way you did. These SBCs coming back out are very cool and it's very good for Icon SBCs. Um, when do these expire? Oh, they're out for 15 days. That's a GG EA. See, EA knew what they were doing here. They weren't going to let people make money off of Informs a second time like they did the first time. That's a GG from EA on that one. Um, that SBC is back out. And then, of course, um, Foot Swap. Don't forget, Foot Swap, one day, 17 hours. Uh, if you haven't redeemed your foot swap cards, which I haven't, I need to get promes. Make sure you redeem those. All right, boys. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>